The U.S. Census dictates how big a slice of $670 billion of federal funding your community gets. It also helps determine how much money goes to your school district, how many lawmakers represent you on your city council and Congress. It even guides whether that new Starbucks or Target will open near you. Mark Namick lays out which Ohio communities are responding and why it matters for every household. As of today, about 66% of Cuyahoga County households have responded, with surrounding counties doing slightly better. In Cleveland, the figure is just 50%. In East Cleveland, the rate's even worse. Every person counted is worth $1,800 in federal money that returns home, one study says. And that's why county officials and others are targeting hard-to-reach households just weeks before the September 30th deadline. People don't respond for many reasons, says Erica Anthony of Cleveland Votes, a nonprofit leading the census count in neighborhoods. The mistrust of government, uh, particularly for black and brown people, um, is not something that is new and unique for 2020. Uh, also affecting the response rate, unstable living arrangements, and a lack of access to the Internet at a time when the census is pushing online surveys. Plans to boost response rates began in 2019, but the pandemic crushed those efforts because we cannot uh, be in physical proximation in the same way that we typically would, it really has compromised our ability to get to those what the census calls hard to count populations. Census workers are also going door to door with computer tablets to help people respond online. And they are staging events at libraries and grocery stores and food banks to reach people. Anthony says people will respond best to hearing from their network of family and friends about the importance of being counted. We have to understand that at the end of the day, you and I, Mark, as individual people have different folks that we trust and we believe in to get information. Mark Namick, 3 News.